Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. In this video, I'm gonna reduce the size of this lawn space in the back garden. It is about to turn into a small patio, but it's bigger than what we want. It takes up a little bit too much of the garden space back here. So I'm going to uh, put a new edge in a little bit closer uh, all the way around. And I put the drone up here so you can see uh, you know, that process. I've got a about a six inch wide a flat shovel and uh, I'm just gonna start here and make my trench going around. If you're laying out beds and you're trying to make long curves, you can lay a water hose out. You can put, use the upside down paint. Uh, I've done this for long enough that I feel like I can make a pretty gradual curve without, um, you know, without having to do that. So I'm gonna start up here by the porch and this is an existing edge here. so. They don't have to do anything here but clean this up. I'm just sticking the shovel straight down in the ground and basically to tossing the soil up in the bed. The grassy weeds that I've got here, I'm gonna have to get rid of. Uh, like right there. I'll put that in a wheelbarrow in a minute. I got a wheelbarrow sitting in the middle of the grass. That's what that is. So what I do is I kind of decide where my curve's gonna go and I come out to the middle of it, okay? And I start there. And I make a, make a spot like this, okay? And then I'll come back about halfway back, you know, along, along this curve right here. I'll come about halfway back and I'll put the shovel in there. I'll give you a close up of this one more before I'm done. But so there's, and then I'll come over to here and do the exact same thing. All these grassy weeds are gonna have to go away. This was really nice zoysia, but it was too much shade. And I've just kind of let the weeds have it over the last year. Okay, so then I come back in the middle of these two and do the exact same thing. Just like that back in the middle here, do the exact same thing. And I just keep coming to the middle of what will be the curve in between the marks I already have. And generally speaking, I may have to clean it up just a bit, but I can usually get a pretty good curve out of just playing connect the dots. I think you can see this end is a little too pointy. Uh, it's kind of weird. It looks like a guitar pick maybe. So I'll come back in. Uh, you know, now that I now that I'm getting a good look at it, and come in here and cut somewhere in here, cut a bit more of this. Is that better? Let's see. May still need some work. Better curve though, 100% uh, better curve. Here's that flat shovel that I was using to edge. It's about six inches wide, you know, perfectly flat. It's good for making, uh, I'm making curves, but it allows me to put, you know, pretty crispy, um, edge on it since it's so flat. I can use my trenching shovel as well. I'm pretty good at using it, but I do find, because that little bit of curve that it has in it, that this flat one uh, makes quick work of it, especially uh, since this has been worked before and it's had organic material on it. It had compost added under the side and um, all the other root activity and everything that's going on back here. Uh, it's easy digging, so a wider shovel uh, is easy. Uh, as you know, uh, if I had new construction or something like that, I'd probably want to take little smaller chunks with a slightly smaller shovel. Might be, it might be a little easier to do, a little slower, but a little easier to do. I've got uh, all of this weedy grass to get out of here now. This little, this little low wheelbarrow, we picked up on the side of the road and it's the most, 
it's, 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 it's an easy cart. Um, I gotta look this thing up and see if it's uh, available on Amazon, but somebody had put it out by the road with several other things and uh, stopped and picked it up. And it's been the most useful cart, especially in the small garden, because it has, uh, we don't have a lot of, uh, the paths aren't very wide to get mulch places and you know do activities out here. Uh, it's just It's just super easy. And I can put my chipper in it too. If you watched the video I did on chipping, uh, you know I can put the, I can put the uh, wood chips directly into it uh, as well. So I've got this grass out here has to go, or these grassy weeds um, have to go. If you had a big area you were turning uh, from turf into bed, you can get a sod cutter. You can cover it in plastic or cardboard or what, something to kill the grass for a little bit for a little while before you uh, do this. For me, I'm just I got this little small area of grass. I'm just going to take this flat shovel, or I can use a pickmatic. Uh, here's my, here's a pickmatic, and a pick, a pickmatic. Um, here's the pick on one end for digging, matic on the other for scraping um, or cutting roots, that kind of thing. You also see axes, you know, in a different orientation. That would be a pickaxe, but on this one, it's a pickmatic. Uh, I can use this and just kind of scrape this grass off as I go. Again, it's pretty easy out here. Uh, and in fact, it's so easy, I'm just gonna use the shovel, uh, which I've got so much already dug up. I need to put that in the, in the cart first, actually. And I think I can just get my, I think once it's broken up, I can just use a little fork to fork it into the wheelbarrow. But I can just scrape this off. Another option you have is to use the sod cutter and then just flip it upside down like that, that will kill some portion of it, especially if it's on a hot day and the sun can cook the roots. Uh, I'm gonna go get my fork real quick and get this stuff that's already broken up. So I know you couldn't see it when I had the drone up, but all I was doing on making this edge is cutting straight down on the turf side, which eventually will be the patio side. And then from this side, back cutting it down at an angle. So you end up with flat against the turf and an angle back up into the bed, just like that. And so when you mulch, your mulch can just slide right down there to that flat edge. And so that's all, that's all I was doing from up there, cutting straight down along the turf, pulling back, uh, in this direction. And uh, so here we go. Let's get some more of this. Let's get some more of this uh, grass out of here. You can see the sun sneaking in on this side a bit. Uh, after I've removed the grass, uh, you can use that grass for compost. You can use that grass for, uh, you know, fill in a hole someplace, uh, whatever you want to use it for. Again, it could have just been flipped over in place and allowed to die for some period of time or just covered in place. Uh, such a small area for me, I just chose to dig it out and, and get going. So I'm going back along this edge and just cleaning it up from the work I was just doing. And I'm gonna find a couple places where the uh, curve isn't quite like I like it. Now, I'll, I'll continue to, to work on that. Uh, the next step will be to compost 
around the outside of it and I may put a little bit of pine bark in it as well but that's all going to be annual plantings around the edge uh, before I get to that point um, I'm going to do some part of uh, digging out this patio I'm kind of doing this in a reverse order just because I wanted to show you how I expand beds around turf uh, in a video um, normally I would have dug this out done this patio and then uh and then put this uh this bed in but anyway I'm doing it this way just so that I could show how I go about edge edging new bed spaces cutting crispy lines and removing grass but again I'm sure there's something around this circle that's not going to be perfect and I'll go back and clean it up just a bit as I'm looking down on it. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. One last thing, I use wood chips for my paths. And so this spot right here, we'll get some wood chips to continue my path where I'm standing uh, onto the, uh, what is currently the lawn. And then uh, I'll go over to the other side. And this is the side over here where a path exits. So I'm just gonna fix up my path real quick. Just let that fall right up against that edge. Just like that. I might need to make this a little bit thicker, but you get the point, okay? The, everything else will get compost and pine bark and then the uh, the paths get wood chips. Just like that. I like putting the drone up because you guys can see, you know, exactly the shape that I'm creating back here, but it also helps me. I can go over there and look at it and, and see where I've, you know, made a mistake or, you know, whether something's too pointy or, or whatever. Uh, the uh, wood chips are a little darker uh, than the other wood chips in the rest of the path just because they're wet. As soon as they dry out, that'll be the same color. And it gives you color differentiation, the, the, the wood chip paths versus the hardwood mulch uh, beds. And then of course the uh, you know, annual border will be around the outside. So that's it, that's how I go about uh, making a turf area smaller or cutting a new bed around a turf area. Again, if it's larger than that, you can rent a sod cutter. Sod cutter will just go, just like I was doing with that shovel where I was doing it manually underneath, it'll just go in and dig it up. You can roll it up. and. You know, use that material anywhere you've got a low spot in the garden or something like that uh, to, f to, fill, to fill it in. There you go. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And i got compost coming uh, in the next couple of days. And this will get composted. The vegetable garden area and our dahlia planting area is going to get composted as well. And so uh, lot, lots of progress, hopefully, over the next uh, week or two. Thanks for watching.